y'all, this middle part is giving me black girl Barbie vibes. Hello? Hi, and welcome to my channel. I'm Allie Fitz, and we're back with another video. And hello, if you're new, welcome to the Fitz fam. Okay, so those of you who are OG Fitz fam members, y'all remember that video I posted like a year ago? Do they really have to be doing that? I think it was called Never Watch These Movies, where I talked about five of the most disturbing and ignorant, disgusting movies I have ever seen in my whole entire life. For example, this movie is about a crazy scientist guy, of course, who decides he wants to make people into a human centipede, just like Tusk. He wants to turn people into what they are not, which does not make sense. It's so disturbing. He wants to take these people and attach them from butt to mouth, okay? This is the butt, this is the mouth. And you will become a centipede, so if Yeah. Well, it has been a year, and I have seen more disturbing movies. And I have six more disturbing slash disgusting slash weird scary movies that I have on a list to never watch again. Number one, The Green Inferno. Take a look at the cover of the movie. Okay, so, um, Cannibal? This movie is cannibalism to the extreme. I cannot believe what I was watching. But there's a lot of running, a lot of screaming, a lot of fighting and blood and eating people. We were watching this movie and I remember James had to get up and leave. He left, he did not even finish the movie because it was too much for him. Oh my god. But it was kind of gory to the point where it was like, that can't happen. Like, you can't rip someone's arm off. And the movie has a twist that you'll never expect. I was completely shook at the end. Okay, let's get to the next movie. Listen, this movie scared me for four nights. Evil Dead. I've seen the original and the remake, and the remake, which is this one, is definitely more terrifying to me. This is like one of those devil movies. I usually don't like to watch these ones as much, but I had to see this one. The girl that gets possessed in it, she was the ugly creature I had ever seen in my whole entire life. Don't Google it unless you're into that sort of thing because it will scare you and then it will make you want to watch the movie. I'm trying to remember this one. It's been a while since I've seen it. There's a lot of like gore and like bone breaking and opening which books that you shouldn't be opening. That's how you bring the devil. I don't understand why people do this in movies. Oh my gosh, this next one. <laughs> it is called Maniac, okay? All right, so looking at the cover, you're like probably confused because he's looking at a woman from his mirror. That's actually kind of creepy, but it gets worse. Spoiler alert, okay? This man, Elijah Wood's character, kidnaps girls and scalps them and then puts their scalps on mannequins in his shop. Ha! Why would you take somebody's scalp off? Yeah, so a lot of gore is definitely in this movie. I just remember Brandon and I were like, why are we watching this after like the third scalp? It's just a lot. Like, why didn't he just buy wigs for the mannequin? Like, he had to be extra. Oh my gosh, so this next one is called High Tension. Um, let's take a look at the cover. What's she doing with that weapon? Is everything okay? If there was an award for the biggest twist in a movie, this movie would win. I can't even say anything. I'm just gonna say that this movie is about two friends who go on a trip and then think go bad. Next movie. This one is called Cabin Fever. I'm sure you guys have seen this one before. There's just that one scene that really gets to me. Spoiler alert! When the girl's shaving in the shower and then her skin starts to come up with the razor. That part gets me every time. I'm shook. Oh my gosh. And this last movie is just too much. This movie, do not watch it because it truly reminds me of the Illuminati. This is Starry Eyes. Yeah, that's a pretty good way of describing it. This girl, she wants to become an actress so bad. So bad that she would want to meet the devil later. Mm. Do not watch that movie. Just go to church instead, y'all. That movie. I was like, I do not ever want to be a celebrity that bad. I can wait. But yeah, these are some of the movies that I saw recently, and I was just like, ooh, these need to go on a list for my YouTube video. And if you enjoyed this video, put a thumbs up. Do not be putting no thumbs down on my video. And if you're cool, go add me on Facebook, where I upload behind the scenes giveaways and other cool things. Go check it out. And go add me on Snapchat, where you see a daily vlog of my life. And I might as well just add my Instagram and Twitter right here. It's the same at. It's easy. Go follow. Become my friends. Have a great day in the name of the Lord and may God bless you every step. Thinking of those movies is scary. Oh. Hey y'all, are y'all still here? I love you guys. Well, if you want to be Fitz fam of the week, all you have to do is click right there. And don't forget to subscribe to see some more videos if you can't get enough of me. Also, if you need something to get your mind off of what we just went through in this video, right there below me. I got you. Don't worry. I always got you. Cause I'm your girl. You know, we like this. I'm done now. Bye. Bye.